Okay, good day. This is Jim Patel from Columbia Gorge Community College's Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EUT 121 Digital 1. Today we're going to discuss 1's and 2's complement and signed numbers. Um, okay, computers need to be able to handle positive and negative numbers. There's three common ways of doing so. First one is sign magnitude, second one is 1's complement, and the third one is 2's complement. That's the one that's most important, and that's the one where we spend the most time on. Okay. So, what is sine magnitude? So, sine magnitude. All you do here is the leftmost bit is the sine bit. Okay, zero, positive, one, negative. So, um, positive nine can be represented as one, zero, zero, one, but it's a positive number, so we're going to put a zero right there. So negative nine, it's still a nine, one, zero, 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 one, but then we've got to put, we've got to account for this negative sign right here by putting a one right there. Okay, why is this not 25? Well, the answer is because it's not. We're using sign magnitude. The leftmost digit is the sign bit. You have to remember when someone gives you a number, hey, this number is in sign uh, magnitude not notation. You have to realize that, okay, this leftmost bit here is not an indicator of a power of, in this case, 16, 2 to the 4. It is the sign bit. So it's not this guy, it's the sign bit. Okay, so why is it not 25? Because it's not 25. Okay. Um, let's go. Uh, let's go backwards. Um, so that was decimal two sine bit mag sine magnitude. Now let's do sine magnitude two, de two decimal. So if someone gives you a number of zero one zero oh, one in sine magnitude notation. Well, zero is in the leftmost bit, so that's the sine bit. It's going to be positive one zero oh, one. If you remember, that's four, and that's a one. Four plus one, positive five. Okay, so we're going from sine bit to decimal. Now someone gives you a number that looks surprisingly similar, and that's 4 plus 1 still. But this right here, that is not an indicator of a power, uh, excuse me, 2 to 3. 8 is an indicator of a negative a sine bit notation, because 1 is a negative. We get a negative 5. Okay? That's sine magnitude. Let's move on to 1's complex. Okay, one's complement. How do you represent a positive number in one's complement? Same as sine magnitude. I.e., leftmost bit is a zero. Okay, how do you represent a negative number? So use the one's complement. Well, what's one complement, you ask? Well, one's complement is the inverse of the positive number, whereby the ones are zeros and zeros are ones. Okay, so let's imagine this here. Uh, using eight bits, uh, we can represent 27, positive 27, as 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, that's 27, but we have to fill up 8 bits because we're using 8 bit 1's complement, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, so excuse me, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so that's 27, positive 27 in 1's complement 8 bit notation. So we want a negative 27 in 8 bit 1's complement notation. So inverse positive number, where the ones are zeros and zeros are ones. Just imagine putting all of these guys through a bunch of inverters. So one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Okay? That's negative twenty-seven in ones complement notation. So we went from decimal to uh, one's complement. Now let's go reverse. So let's do, um, okay, so we get a one, one, zero, 
So for one's complement decimal, excuse me, one's complement two decimal, something something uh, peculiar here. Okay, so one's this up here was decimal two one's complement. Now we're going one's two decimal. Okay, so this, this one up here, decimal to one's complement, was just inverted. Okay, one's to decimal. How do you do this here? Okay, all you do is you still use the sum of weights methods that we've been doing before, except this leftmost guy right here. So this is, let's do 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5. This leftmost guy is given a negative value. This guy's positive, 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 positive. And it's not a negative up here. Don't think, don't think of that. That's that's wrong. That's that's wrong thinking. Don't do that. Do the negative down here. Okay. So sum of weights here is again two to the zero is a one times a one. Four. And two to the four is a sixteen. And this guy up here is two to the five, but it's a uh, just thirty-two. It's a negative. So negative thirty-two plus sixteen plus four plus one. That's going to give us, what is it? Okay, so negative 11. But we have to account for something here. It's the sum of weights with negative leftmost bit plus 1. Now we have to add plus 1. Okay, so everyone got that. So this is still the sum of the weights of these individual powers of 2. But the negative has got the, is a left. So right there, that's our negative. Then we have to add plus 1. So it's step 1, 2, 3. So going from 1's um, complement to decimal. Okay, let's actually spend some time on 2's complement.